And right now to that breaking news in Longmont. We've confirmed at least two people have been killed in one of the crashes. The planes went down about seven miles apart. The first crash happened near a Walmart Supercenter at Highway 119 and Weld County Road 1. The second, about five minutes later, near the Vance Brand Municipal Airport, which is in Longmont. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez is live there now. And Tyler, some city workers actually jumped in to help that pilot. They did, Dale. This is apparently a very heroic scene just a bit right next to the Vance Brand Airport, but we are told the other scene, not quite the same, about seven miles to the southeast of here. We want to give you a live look right now. You can see the Weld County coroner has arrived. Police believe at least two people have been killed in this accident to the south and east of where we are right now. Police working it, but witnesses tell us they believe this was a midair collision. They describe seeing both planes, one going northeast, the other southwest, both turning towards each other. Both men tell us they thought, no, they won't hit. They went back to working, doing some painting work when they heard a pop. That's when they saw the one plane go down near that Walmart. They said it looked as if it had been crushed like a soda can. Now, police believe at least two people have been killed in that accident. We also just got a notice from the FAA. They're saying they believe one person may have been taken to the hospital. Police have not confirmed that. They instead believe at least two fatalities and furthermore say that no one survived that crash. Because there are two different scenes, they still have not been able to meet together to debrief. But that is the belief at this point. They are looking to see if, in fact, it was a midair collision and exactly how many people were killed. Now, back live at this scene, very different. This pilot actually walked away. After that, what we believe could have been a mid air collision, this plane hit those power lines here at the airport. And at that point, police described that this pilot, a woman, went through a very difficult time to try to maintain control, flying over this area here with a lot of different planes and hangars. In fact, some of the folks working on those planes eventually came to help because the plane crashed just behind me in this field. You can see the wreckage there. The danger wasn't over, though. Even after it landed, there was concern about a fuel spill. It started leaking out of this airplane. So two employees based with the city of Longmont's Public Works Department came out and pulled this woman, a flight instructor herself, from this airplane. We talked with a witness who saw it happen. She provided a jacket for this woman. She said she was concerned and simply doesn't know what happened yet. There is no excuse for an accident, so we work really, really hard to make sure that doesn't happen. We're very studious, disciplined people, and um, occasionally they do happen, and it's really sad when it does. Now, police believe this woman is going to survive. She didn't have any obvious injuries, was taken to a local hospital, as we said she is, and instructed herself. As for the other scene, though, with the coroner on uh, investigating right now, police believe they have at least two fatalities, and they are under the impression this could have been a mid-air collision, but this investigation continues. We're live in Longmont. Titer Lopez, 7 News.